Hey friends, so today I'm going to be doing my engagement photo shoot makeup. I actually recorded a getting ready with me the day of and <laughs> I came up with a few little hiccups when I was doing my makeup so I thought it would just be better once I completed it. I would just do a recreation. You guys commented on one of my Instagram photos that I posted on my Instagram stories and said that you wanted a makeup tutorial. So that is what I'm doing today. I also have um, my little makeup case that I brought with me for retouch ups and um, I'm going to share what I did bring with me and what I kind of reapplied throughout the photo shoot. So I also want to say I did wear eyelashes just like kind of little um, outer lash, what are they called, half falsies. Um, and I'm not going to be doing that today because it's such a pain to put eyelashes on. Like I struggled for a good 30 minutes and that's pretty much why I stopped filming the video. So that's basically that. So I'm going to just prep my skin. I'm using a bit of facial oil just because I find that helps with moisturizing my skin the best. And I did my most up-to-date skincare routine on my YouTube channel. I'll link that before doing my makeup project. And I'll post some little pictures that we got. I don't have a lot, but I will show some of them. Um, it was such a fun day. It was so long. We shooted for four hours. We did partly in studio, and then also we did some outside. It was like the hottest, most humid day, so I was dying. Um, but the photos did turn out really nice. I also want to apologize if you hear like a bit of a buzzing or humming sound in the background. Our AC is not really working. So we're actually using our fan right now just to make sure that the place is cool enough. I mean, I'm always cold, so I'm wearing a hoodie, but um, I do apologize. Got to keep that on for um, Jay so he doesn't get super, super hot. Um, so I just went in with the Westman Atelier Foundation stick. I just kind of put it directly on my face. So I just kind of put it all over my face and I just take my beauty blender and I just pushed it in. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see the details. The thing I love about the Westman Atelier Foundation, especially when it comes to shooting, photo shoots, etc., is that it applies, like reapplies really nicely. It doesn't get cakey. I put it over my other powder products, like powder um, bronzers and stuff, and it just looks so seamless and perfect. Doesn't even look like I'm wearing a reapplying makeup. Like, it's unbelievable. This is truly the best foundation I have ever used. Um, and I don't say that lightly. Like, I truly adore this foundation more than anything I've ever used before. Um, and it's just so good. It's funny because I also realized I did like a bit more of a natural makeup. And as I was at the studio, we were doing photos and stuff. We had like a beautiful like studio, um, studio lights and like a little vanity that I was able to do my retouch ups, I mean, <laughs> touch ups at. And I felt like I was applying a lot more makeup, but it's honestly because the camera really um, needs that extra makeup to pick up on camera. So after I did that, I actually went ahead and did a bit of my Ilia powder under my eyes just to prevent that from looking too oily. And I might go in, I actually on the day of did a little bit of the Ilia concealer just under my eyes. And I had a little bit of a blemish here. Yeah. Do a little bit of a heavier kind of base than I usually do, just so that everything looks super flawless on camera. Okay, and then the bronzer that I used was the Well People bronzer. I just, 
I have so many bronzers and out of all of them, I felt like this one was honestly just the nicest. Um, but you know what? I also did a contour just a little bit with the Westman Atelier contour. Add a little bit of definition. And I also was a little bit more um, self tanned. So like a tad darker than I am now. And I just used the Luna bronzer in the Total Eclipse, which is their darkest one. And then I actually applied the Vita Liberata body blur to my legs just to deepen the tan a little bit, but it also has a bit of like a makeup consistency to it. There we go. Okay, so once that's done, then I'll go in with the Well People bronzer and I use my Tarte brush. Sweep that on my cheeks and cheekbones, across my forehead, bridge of the nose. There we go. And then for cheeks, my like highlight and blush was the Weston Atelier Peau de Peche, which is the best ever. Um, and I actually just took my beauty blender and I just kind of popped the bottom there. And this gives such a radiant highlight. Oh my gosh, in the pictures, my cheeks were beaming. Um, and a lot of the photos were pretty much all in black and white. We will get some color. Um, but even in the black and white photos, you just see this glow. Girl, I was like, wow, that's a pop. The most universally flattering, like, like I, did I say this in my last video that I would totally use this on my wedding day? It's gorgeous. And someone also said how cool would it be if Gucci Westman did your makeup for your wedding day? And I, you girl, you got that stuck in my head. And I'm gonna try and manifest it. Like it seems like crazy. Like I don't think Gucci Westman has any idea who I am. But if you wanna help a sister out and see if I can get noticed. I mean, she has to come to Toronto. And given that it's next year, I'm not sure what the travel restrictions will be like um, for US entering Canada and all that stuff, so, but that would be a dream, total dream. Okay, I know it looks like I'm wearing a lot of makeup, but like I said in camera, you kind of have to do a little bit more of an exaggeration, um, which feels off in real life, but in camera, it looks beautiful. So that's what I did. And then I just did the Merit Beauty um, brow gel and just did a little soft uh, soap brow. So I'm just going to brush that up. And I have to say for the makeup, um, it pretty much stayed in place all day. The thing that I was retouching up the most was honestly my hair. It just does not hold a curl. I think it's just a mess, which is exactly why I'm doing a bun for my wedding day, like a slick back bun. Ain't nobody got time to deal with curls falling out. I know that um, hairstylists could definitely, you know, say, oh, I'll make her hair hold a curl. But I also don't like the crispy vibes that a lot of hairspray gives. Like I like having my hair feel natural um so I'd rather just have it slick back and that's like a hairstyle that I really do enjoy um wearing day to day and I think it looks good on me so I feel like to do that would make me feel the most like myself so um that's kind of what I'm going for so um next i'm just going to take my tower 28 really just water will do i just kind of have to use something to wet this and then use my gunky yucky brush that needs to be cleaned it's just got soap all over it isn't that ironic it needs to be clean but it's already got soap on it like it's it's dirty with soap so ironic and then i just lightly stroke that 
through my brows and this is good this is like a hairspray for your brows like it keeps your eyebrows in place and they do not budge all day you have to use a really light hand or else it does get like pretty gunky looking so for eyes I actually started off with a base from the little one palette and I'm just gonna take a brush I use the pony shade and I just rub that all over the lid and the reason why I did this was to create a dry base just in case my eyelids were like a tiny bit um, dewy so I just run this all over the lid and it's a little bit warm for me so you'll see what I do in a second and this is what I like continue to reapply that's thunder it's weird because it's sunny out right now and it hasn't started raining but I can hear thunder it is supposed to thunderstorm okay so I did that and then I just right on my brush I'll just swirl 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 And it deepens up that brown to like the perfect color okay and of course I use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara the day of it was amazing it only started to smudge when I was on like 35 degrees Celsius humidity which makes sense and it was near the end of the shoot so I am not complaining it really held up for most of the day for not using a conventional or a waterproof mascara. I was super impressed. I will say that the day of the wedding, I probably will use a conventional waterproof mascara just because I'm not gonna deal with um, any smudging. I just can't worry about that, especially because I'm likely gonna cry on my wedding day or I didn't really cry at the photo shoot. I was just sweating my ass off. I also had the tiniest little bit of um, liquid eyeliner on my upper uh, upper lash line um, and that was really just to help conceal the um, gap between my falsies and my natural lashes and like the glue because I used to white glue um, so I'll do that just for the sake of kind of giving the same illusion I didn't really want to wear um, eyeliner. I just solely used it for um, blending in those lashes. And I just applied it from like the my pupil outwards. I didn't go in far enough because I just I'm not a huge fan of the way that looks like on my eyes. I feel like it almost closes my eye up. And the final thing was my lips. So I initially started off with the, this is by Aveda, it's their Color Bomb. I actually went in and I bought um, this Color Conserve conditioner. And I got this free with purchase. So this is what I started off with. Oh, I had no idea. I said something to my teeth. Well, we'll see. Well, I'm editing this so I can see it. So this is crazy because it's moisturizing but it gives so much opaque pigment it's crazy the crazier thing is so i brought that and i also brought this um this is by rouge rouge um and this color is basically like dead on maybe like a tad pinkier like a bit more of a mauve pink. But I reapplied with this and that's what gave me this color. And then I would just throughout the day take my well people. I loaded up on the bronzer while I was at the studio because I noticed that I didn't look nearly 
as bronze on my face compared to the rest of my body, so I just kind of like packed it on. And that was my makeup the day of. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I'll probably pop this in my wedding series because this is my engagement sheet makeup. Super glowy, very bronze. I think it's really appropriate for spring, summertime engagement photo shoots. I'm super excited to share the photos with you. Um, thanks so much for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Oh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed today's video.